Hey you guys, it's Moonlander back again with another horror movie review. Uh, and today we're going to look at a new Fangoria movie called Satanic Panic. Where's my virgin? I don't know what's happening. My mom and her butt buddies are booty calling Baphomet. And they're not going to stop until you're strapped to a barbed wire altar. That's bonkers. Any idea why the rich stay rich and you stay screwed? Mm, better health care. They are stronger than us. No virgin, no sacrifice. Let me protect you. Oh, how are you people? Death to the weak, wealth to the strong. You should stop drinking. You really want to face this over? So Satanic Panic is about a pizza girl that takes a order to a rich neighborhood. I took this job for the tips. In four hours, my total earnings are an expired Applebee's coupon. A sweater that smells like racism. It's exactly oh, your size. Oh. Deliver for meal basin. It's outside our zone. I'll do it. And she delivers these pizzas to a house and doesn't get a tip and the moped she rode on there won't start when she tries to leave. So she decides to go into the house to get help and or a tip and they immediately peg her for being a virgin and they want to use her in a sacrifice so they can summon bafflement. Ready to fully commit yourself to Satan. Yes! Who are you? I'm the pizza guy. A girl? Are you by any chance a virgin? That's a very personal question. She's a virgin. They were originally going to use the cult leader's daughter, uh, but she ruined their plans by having sex shortly before their ritual. And now the pizza girl and this daughter befriend each other and fight to survive the night and escape these cultists. So, for the things I liked about Satanic Panic is a big part of this movie's success and being funny is all of the characters are decent to good. Uh, they're all entertaining to watch and they're somewhat funny or interesting in some way. The best character of Satanic Panic, I would say, has to be the cult leader played by this Rebecca Romaine. And now she is cold, heartless, and plays a satanic cult leader It's about as good as anybody could hope for. But even the smaller characters in this movie are a lot of fun as well. Uh, there's a, another guy that works at the pizza shop that insists that he's this main character's boyfriend, even though she uh, has no desire to be in a relationship with him. There's the second in command is the best I can come up with in the cult, played by this blonde woman who really wants to take over leadership. Now she's funny and just seems like a rich housewife that is happens to also be a Satanist as well. And I really liked her character. And I, while she's not particularly funny, the main character is good too. She seems innocent. Uh, she has a somewhat interesting backstory to why she's a virgin uh, that somehow fit into the movie and didn't seem just uh, like crap. Uh, how they pulled that off too. And there's also just crazy characters. Now, uh, when she goes to rescue this daughter of the satanic cult leader, uh, she finds her tied nude in a bed uh, with some other cult member's daughters wearing a giant drill dildo about to kill her with it. And uh, it's these over-the-top moments in this movie that make it great. Now, for the things I didn't like about Satanic Panic, 
is, well, this was a fun and enjoyable movie. I feel like this movie had the potential to just be way awesome if it had pushed more gore, nudity, and sex in this. And now, while there is a woman wearing a drill dildo, uh, and somebody does get hit with it, except you don't see it. It happens off camera. Um, there isn't a lot of gore in this, and it's a Fangoria movie. Um, there's a few gross things. I think, like, the best thing I remembered from this is, like, a really disgusting vomiting scene, but... I mean, it's not even like that great, but uh, it's about the best thing in here for gross and uh, disgusting stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention the creature or whatever they're cooking in the oven. Uh, that thing was gross. <laughs> And I have to say that the movie's climax is set up to be spectacular with all these cult members basically meeting their demise. And yeah, they show glimpses, some are nude here and there. Uh, but when they die, they just kind of fall over and... The nudity and if they're having sex, you can't even tell. I just thought they might as well go all out with this. And I thought it would have just made that movie that much more crazier. Because it is supposed to be a crazy experience with the exaggerated characters. Um, I just don't think they went far enough with it. So, my final thoughts on Satanic Panic is, look, this was a directorial debut by this Chelsea Stardust. And overall, I would say I'm excited to see more movies that she would direct. Um, but Satanic Panic is a movie I would suggest to horror fans. It's just not one that I highly suggest. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.